is up everybody welcome back to let's play super mario galaxy i am the french fry king and in the last episode we had our star counter up to 94 stars and um we went over to the garden and visited for the first time got a couple galaxies or got a couple stars from the galaxies there this time we're gonna get another purple coin here in the dusty dune galaxy and we're just gonna do this one real quick this one isn't too long because all the purple coins are pretty much up right in the same spot but the thing is it is kind of can be a little annoying because it's in the Dusty Dune Galaxy, we can fall into the quicksand, it gets really annoying. So we gotta be very careful. Now this is my second attempt to try to record this video. Because in the first attempt, I just kept failing so bad at this level. And I was literally on this level for 12 minutes, almost a full episode. I was like, you know what, no, we're gonna just start this video over gonna do another take on it and hopefully I do much better on it this time so let's see how things go this time around hopefully we can do much better and plus I wasn't really happy with how my commentary was going anyway so I decided to just go ahead and redo this episode so we have some purple coins right here that are floating up above the sand and we have to use these tornado guys to actually go up in the air to get them now when I was on the first take of this, I was being stupid, and I didn't realize that I could use this tornado to get the, the coins that were right there, and I kept trying to use this one down here, which is too low. So I'm like, oh, I guess we can't get those purple coins right now, and all I had to do was just use another tornado, which was literally right in front of it, so it wasn't even that far away, and I could have used that the whole time. So we gotta pass over this under this swamp right here and then we gotta jump up on wall jump on the side and then jump on top of them and get the coins right there so like I said we have to be very careful here because just one little mistake and you can fall up into that quicksand and like I've mentioned before the last time we we're here you fall into that quicksand you're dead you can't get out there's no escaping you're dead so we gotta be very careful try not to jump too far and especially in this game where sometimes Mario likes to take two extra steps or so more than what you actually command him to so you gotta be a little careful and watch out for these dry bones they don't cause too much of a threat but they can be annoying and you don't want them to bump into you and accidentally push you into the quicksand because it is possible trust me I know from first-hand experience that that will happen so be careful from that all right, so basically what we need to do now, we have to go over to that side and collect purple coins over there. And then um, on the exact other side right here, as you can see, hold on, let me grab that coin real quick. Over here, you can see some shadows and some purple coins up there. They're too high for us to get up there. So on the other side, we need to pass by and go through that hole over there where I'm just collecting some star bits. And we need to go and hit the switch to raise this platform are the little platforms over here so that we can get the purple coins. We'll collect the ones on the ground and the ones right there once we get over there. But for now we're gonna head this way and go right here. Alright, so um, like I mentioned in Kingdom Hearts and um, also the last couple episodes of Mario Galaxy, I believe, I am from now on up until this game is done, we are going to have more Mario Galaxy go up than Kingdom Hearts so it's gonna be like every two Mario Galaxies go up there'll be a Kingdom Hearts and I know that I have quite a ways to go with finishing Kingdom Hearts I know because people tell me it's a long game and I don't even think I've even remotely gotten anywhere close to the end of the game I'm not trying to 100% it because it's a blind playthrough but I know simply just to finish the game it's gonna take a little while um, and I'm not trying, like I said, I'm not trying to 100% it or anything, I did, it would take much longer than what it's already going to take, plus I have absolutely no idea how to even 100% it, because it's, I've never played the game up until this point, um, of this let's play, of that let's play anyway, so, um, I just want to get this game done, because actually today is the one year anniversary of me starting this let's play. And it's something that I didn't actually want to happen. I didn't want this game, this playthrough to go on for a whole year. And I'm about to die. And I was actually in the same um, situation 
when I was playing, went on the first take of this episode, because I literally had one life left, and I had 81 purple coins, or around 80 purple coins. I was, like, right in this area, and I got hit by these tornado guys, which have rocks swirling around them, because they just want to mess with you, and they don't want you to win, so... That's why they got rocks swirling around them. And these and it doesn't help that these purple coins are kind of annoying and nerve-wracking and hard to get all in one go. Actually, it's not possible to get them all in one go, because you got to go through the tornado multiple times. But there, now that we got all of those, we can just hurry up and go over here. And um, before we actually move around, there's actually a purple coin right behind. And there's these blocks. I missed them in the first take. And I actually went around and grabbed them, and then because of that, I actually kind of ran out of time. Because this switch is timed. You are timed to make it back to the other side. So you don't want to be too slow. So that means going into the tornadoes will slow you down. And yes, we actually have a coin right here, too. I forgot about this one right here. Um, I don't think it's actually possible to get it until that goes down. Basically, you want to stay away from the tornadoes. Especially those, because those can kill you. And the ones over on this side, because they will slow you down as you try to get over to the other side. So, avoid the tornadoes at all costs. We'll grab that purple coin in just a bit. And we'll grab these in just a bit too, but we just need to hurry up and get over here to grab these. And it really sucks that purple coins don't actually give you health. Um, the only coins that actually give you health are freaking um, yellow coins, um, the regular coins. So, yeah, we actually have to go all the way back to collect one extra coin. But it would really help if the purple coins would give you health simply because you're collecting a hundred of them. And yes, we only need one more left, and we're making a lot better, more better time on it this time. Even though it's been about seven minutes, purple coins are kind of lengthy as it is. So, what can you do? Good thing it's not 12 minutes like the last one. We'll be actually be able to squeeze in another star in this episode as long as nothing bad happens from now until when I get to that other purple coin. But I'm doing a Let's Play, so most likely you can expect something like that to happen. Because that's what Let's Plays do to you. Alright, let's hurry up and get back over there, avoiding these tornadoes, especially because they got rocks. And we're going to head over there, make it back in time. We might have to go a little bit faster, because as you saw before, I just barely made it over there that time, and I didn't even have enough time to actually grab the last purple coin. Let's hurry up and get over there. Man, Mario runs so slow, it would help if you could run much faster. No, come on Mario, we can't waste any time. And, um, if you have your game audio up, and you can actually hear the clicking, it kind of sounds like a clock ticking, and it clicks faster as, um, the platforms get closer to coming down. But I have my game audio low, kind of, well, not extremely low, but lower to where I can't hear the clicking because it's not an extremely loud noise. Plus, I'm talking at the same time, so it kind of covers it up. Alright, so that is 95 stars total. That galaxy is complete, and we do not have enough time to squeeze in another purple coins, but we probably do have enough time to squeeze in another star from, say... The garden, so let's not make it a whole purple coins episode, and let's head over to the garden real quick, and we'll do one of the galaxies there. One that we haven't done yet, because we've already saw um, the Matter Splatter galaxy and the, um, that other galaxy. Um, Melting Molten, I think that's what it was called. That one lava one. Head right over here towards the gate. And there's Hungry Luma right there. We still have one Hungry Luma left in the game. And now, um, I don't... Oh, yep, it is here. He's right there. We have nowhere near the amount of Star Bits to, feed, to give him, but we're eventually going to have to save them up because we're going to need it. All right, so we have the Deep Dark Galaxy. Yeah, it was Melty Molten. Deep Dark and Dreadnought. We're going to go to the Deep Dark Galaxy. We'll save the Dreadnought Galaxy for next time. And we'll see if we can collect a star here. 
in the next, say, five minutes or so, because we're just, like, right at ten minutes right now. Underground ghost ship. All right. Now, I actually do. Yes, this galaxy, I remember this. Now, um, some of these galaxies I don't really have that much of a, um, I don't know that much about or have a good memory about them because it's been a while since I've played this game all the way through. I mean, because there's times where, like, I play games and then I start playing them and I'm like, oh yeah, let's play through this game. And then I get, um... A little ways through it, and then I'm like, you know what, man, I don't feel like playing it anymore. I mean, of course, it's after I've already beaten the game, but it's just when I play through it again, then I just don't feel like playing. I just don't actually finish the like the second playthrough or something. All right, so right here, we actually need to um, use fire to open up that gate right there. So what we need to do, we need to actually, oh, um, I believe there we have a little planet over there. We actually need to launch ourselves over to this planet right here and collect that fire flower. And if you fail like me, you launch right past the planet, which for some reason they had no gravitational pull to pull me right to it. Like, planets have gravity, so it should have pulled me right there. It should have pulled me right onto the planet. Whatever, we should hit it this time. And we just barely missed that rainbow star right there. And we can actually kill the enemies right here super easily with the rainbow star. But I am not going to worry about killing them right now because we need to hurry up and head back to um, right here, this main planet, so we can light these torches on fire. And for whatever reason, fire is timed in this game. I don't know why, it was never timed in any other Mario game before this one. But for some reason, they decided to time it in this one. Well, this was, this, then again, this was the first 3D Mario game to have power-ups in general. Um, unless you count Mario 64's, like, hat power-ups and stuff like that. But those were exclusive to that game only. Alright, so basically, um... Let's see what Toad's got to say over here. We're gonna go swimming a little bit. This one's got one. It's kind of, like, reminds me of, like, Simon from Alvin and the Chipmunks. He's got the glasses and he's blue. Team surveying an underground lake. All right, so let's dive down here. Let's see what we've got down here. We got some bloopers down here. Don't want to get hurt by them. So let's just do what we can to avoid them. We got some a sunken ship down here. Some broken stuff. So let's check it out. And the music in this area is just kind of like sinister like like something bad's gonna happen and it's it's it suits um this area very well because of the way it looks and we had an eel right there don't run into him let's collect this air bubble right here because we do not want to die and i am losing control of mario right now all right so we actually have arrows pointing to exactly where we need to go so we need to go up and um, we actually passed where we were supposed to go. I just went down there to collect um, some stuff, like the star bits and stuff. All right, so let's see. Man, the camera angle is not doing its job right now. Like, the camera angle is horrible right now. I don't know why, but it is. It happens sometimes when you swim in this game. Let's dive back down. Um, right, where is it? Okay, there it is. See, we actually had some star bits down here, um, and they were pointing down right here, actually. So, it's supposed to go down here. Um, I just collected the star bits, and I didn't realize um, that that's what we had to do, was just go right here. Okay, I'm pretty sure I actually hit, hit the switch, Mario! Thank you! Here we go, that gate's open, so now we can just swim through here and continue with what we need to do. Grab an air bubble so that you don't drown down here. You want to be a little careful because we got these spike balls going up and down and stuff. We got these like jellyfish like enemies here. And we got another switch right here that will open up this gate right here. Watch out for these jellyfish guys. Don't want to get hit by them. They don't really do anything unless you swim right into them. But with sometimes swimming like sometimes the controls like to just go all 
go all over the place when you're swimming, so it's very possible that you could accidentally swim into them. Alright, so we are near the end of the level right here. Um, these boos are easy to kill, just spin, and you can spin correctly right into the light, it'll kill them like that. That's the only thing you need to do. Alright, so now what we want to do is simply just jump up here, and we have a boss battle of some sorts. Now, this is the second time that we are facing this person, I believe. I believe we've already faced them. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the second time. So basically, um, fireballs, she shoots them at us, and then she also shoots um, these green things at us, and if you spin, they turn out to be shells. What you can do, you can throw the shells at her like that. Don't get hurt in the process like I did. She drops star bits as she gets hit like every boss in this game. So collect them as she drops them and rinse and repeat. Um, three hits like every Mario boss ever. So just throw the shells at her when you get them and that's all there is to it. Um, lights don't really serve a purpose in this battle. I don't think she summons her little magic hoop with the minions up there. Hold on a second, this thing popped up on my laptop. Alright, so she's all the way up there now, so we actually need to climb up here to get her. And she's not going to go down from this place, and you might as well, um, you can kill these little magic hoopas because they are going to get annoying. So if you just go ahead and kill them, then they're out of the way and you don't really have to worry about them. Got a shell right here, wait for her to appear again, and chuck it at her. Okay, so we actually do have a little more to it. Maybe it's because um, we're actually up here, and she's like right in our face to fireball at us now. Alright. Alright, just throw another shell. And you can actually see what she's kind of going to throw, because it'll like have like a green aura around it if it's a shell. And if it's a fireball, it'll have like a red aura around it. Alright, so as you see, the star was actually in, like, her little wand. So we're actually going to get it right now. 17 minutes, not bad, I guess. Two stars. It's better than only having one. And that is pretty much all. That's not much to that. It's pretty easy boss battle. But then again, Mario boss battles nowadays, not very difficult at all. Even the final boss in this game... Not necessarily th difficult. It's epic, of course. Like, yeah, it's cool. It's a cool boss battle, but it's not difficult at all. It's very easy. And you'll see that once I get to the end of the game. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave it a like and subscribe if you're new here so you'll be notified whenever I release new videos and anything of that sort. If you have any friends or family or anybody you know that likes Let's Plays or something like that, or likes video games in general, send them on over. Get them to subscribe. Get more viewers, because if we can add more viewers than the ones that we already have, then that would be really awesome. So, share the video. And you can go down in the description below, check out my friend Kofi's channel. He's got some good videos that you're not going to want to miss. So, go down in the description, check him out. And he also made the intro that was in this video, so that's pretty cool. So that gives you even a more of a reason to go check him out. So go do it now, or else. Anyway, guys, like I said, I've been the French Ray King. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, and I'll see you later.